パンツって幸せの象徴じゃねえかそれにパンツはどこから持ってくる呼ぶしょうがないわねーいやーすみませんわざわざ<笑>急にパソコンがネットにつながらなくなっちゃって<笑>僕ら機械はちょっと苦手でしょうがないわねーほんとダメねーあんたたちは<笑>よくわかんないっすけど、多分…あれなのかななんで天井にあんのよあ、キャタツありますようんーっと Hey guys, this is the fifth episode of Talking Subo with a review for Daily Lives of High School Boys. It's your boy, anime expert Malesh, with my anime newbie friend, Nate. Daily Lives of High School Boys is a show about exactly what you think. It's a slice of life show where you get to see high school boys and their various imaginations of the various things they think in high school, doing various skits and comedic things. Does this bring back the high school days for you, Nate?、Uh, yeah, mostly. You and I were definitely some wacky dudes in high school, so it does remind me a bit of those days. We just didn't do quite the exact same type of skits as the dudes in this anime. I mean, American high school is very different from fictitious Japanese anime high school. Is it though? Yes.、Hmm. We, we were some funny dudes. Let's talk a bit more about the plot of Daily Lives. If there is a plot, Daily Lives of High School Boys aired in the winter of 2012 with 12 hilarious episodes, a perfect length for this kind of show. Since it's an episodic show that focuses on comedic skits, to fill out one episode, there really isn't much of an overarching plot. This is a pure comedy anime that has many funny characters exploring their vivid imaginations during their high school stay. A perfect description. I've seen many other shows that are primarily slice of life with comedy mixed in. Daily Lives is a comedy first and foremost. There's no arcs, really, no character development, it's mostly slapstick, and I love it for that. Not every episode is completely isolated, however. Uh, sometimes they reference or make callbacks to previous jokes whenever it works, and it usually works pretty well.、Mm -hmm. Despite the show's title, there's plenty of funny female characters who show up, so now we'll talk about the characters in the show. There's sort of three primary characters, but I don't think they actually get much more screen time, so there's no real primary character. As the title suggests, the show's focus is primarily on the dudes, usually in a group setting, but in addition, their, their older sisters show up in some skits, as well as girls from different high schools. There's not much to discuss about characters, since they're all pretty basic, but they each contribute something unique to the comedic skits they're in. My personal favorite character was Hiden Nori, my brother, the dude in glasses. Because his style, he likes to put on a different persona, he likes to put everyone in a really intense improv situation, which usually ends out pretty hilariously. He's my kind of guy. What characters do you like, Malesh? I really enjoyed Hiden Nori as well. He was my dude, mainly because he also had the same kind of sense of humor. But I also really did enjoy the student council trio of characters that were introduced in the show, mainly because it's kind of funny to me how they don't look like student high school guys like, at all. One of them looks like a very sunburned 35 year old man. They both got beards. <laughs> yeah. And I really enjoyed their interactions with one of the other female characters that was a president of another high school that they interacted with. And there were some very funny situations with those. Now we're going to move on to the animation because, like we said, there's like not many, not much to discuss about these characters. Daily Lines was animated by Sunrise Studios, which is an interesting choice because Sunrise is primarily known for doing mech shows like Gundam and don't really do much of the comedy genre. However, they are known for their very famous Kintama, which is a comedy show, so there is a precedent for them doing comedic shows. They did a solid job with animation here, as you can expect from Sunrise, who always do pretty good with animation. And since this is a slice of life show, the best animation is not really required because it's mainly just a lot of guys doing very skits. But I will say the action scenes in particular looked very nice when they were animated. Again, probably from their mech series, you know, action scenes they always do. And I thought it was pretty good overall. How about you, Nate? Yeah, I thought the animation was pretty good, you know, par for the course. I also think the action scenes were pretty well done. Since the show focuses on young males, sometimes they got a lot of spontaneous shenanigans. I like to. 
put a lot of exaggerating animation on that, and they did a pretty good job at that style. They also nailed the facial expressions, which is pretty important for a comedy. I swear, there are so many still frames that are just, they make for the best reaction images. And now I'll briefly discuss the voice acting. The show has no dub, and even though we don't understand the language they're speaking, we can still critique the voice acting and understand that it is top notch. Many characters are good at putting on characters themselves and changing their voice whenever it's funny. The comedic timing is also perfect. Since I'm the resident anime noob, I can safely suggest anime for first timers, because the subtitles are hella basic and there's no fast paced act to distract you. Now, due to the fact that this is a comedy show, the soundtrack isn't really much to talk about as appropriate music for the appropriate situations they're in, but beyond that it wasn't something that I was like, yeah, this soundtrack is great. However, the voice acting like Nate said was perfection. He and Nori did a really great job, and the cast of characters in general were really amazing. They had perfect reactions, and the comedic timing was excellent, which I think will make it kind of hard to dub because it's hard to like do that comedic timing exactly with two different languages like English and Japanese. Another fun fact, you can ignore his voice by the voice actor that does Ginto Kingitama, who is the main character in that show. So that was a nice little cameo they did for uh, that character. And for the opening, I actually really liked it, mainly because it amused me that it had this very like kind of shonen actor adventure sort of thing going on for it, even though it's nothing like that. <laughs> it's just a comedic skit show, which I enjoyed the sort of irony in that. And the ending itself was amusing to me just because it was a school play and the voice actors themselves were singing some of it. So that's always funny when whenever voice actors sing the ending or opening themes. Yeah, I actually thought the opening and ending themes were kind of lame. <laughs> Didn't personally like it, but it is a bit funny that the voice actors were the ones singing the ending theme. So, you know, bonus points for that. However, I love the jingle that plays at the beginning of every episode. The one that goes like this. It's the best. So in the end, this enemy is good for laughs and for laughs only, and I had plenty of laughs. It tries nothing more to be a comedy, and it basically does it perfectly. If you've seen Lucky Star, it's actually really similar to that, just with dudes. Hmm. There's a very, very small amount of Japanese humor that you might not get if you know nothing about otaku stuff like anime or video games, but even people who've never watched an anime, this is a pretty good first time anime. The Lines of High School Boys was an anime that I actually watched while in high school, and a boy! So it was pretty fun to me because it, it, the skits in the show kind of reminded me of the skits that maybe we did in my high school with my friends that were boys. So if you're a high school boy, you're going to love this show. And if you're not, well, you're not out of luck because most of the comedy is slapstick. So we don't really like to worry about cultural differences making you be like, I don't get this Japanese joke. Instead, you'd be like, oh, this guy just put on your eyes head. It's funny. It's good for all audiences. Yes. Everybody. You can watch Daily Lives for free on Hulu in the US, and there's also a Blu-ray release which has some special episodes. They're moderately funny. They're uncensored. It's a comedy because there's not much uncensored. I think they uncensored a bug that was pixelated in the TV release. Anyway, if you already watched Daily Lives, click the first link in the description where we got our post-review discussion with mostly just we talk about more detailed opinions and like our favorite stuff and whatnot. And as always, Thanks for watching our review of Data Lives. Give it a like and a comment for feedback, and we'll see you guys next time with a review of Samurai Champloo.